Ghana, what's happening? We got you all registered. Come and get your... Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They got neat colors today. All right, coming. I was just like 
into reading my verses and then reading the Bible, but I never really thought about having a relationship with God until um, until like recently, during um, just, I think when I came to this church. Yeah. Um, Because I've been to like three different churches or four once, like, and then one of them, only two of them were Ethiopian, and then the other ones were, one of them was American, and then the first one was Eritrean, I think. And um, just like this year, how uh, God spoke to me, and he, he told me like that um, I can like lean on Him instead of leaning on the um, things of the world, and. Being able to let go of my pressure and my fear while I was worshiping felt um, felt like I was walking on clouds. I don't know why, and um, I really enjoyed it being able to worship along people that were my age, and I wasn't I wasn't um, fear I wasn't scared of like just being myself. Passionately over 30 years, you name it, he did it. A coach, uh, you know, a teacher, uh, a pastor, a professor, and, and, and you know, both in college students, high school, and middle school. Uh, you know, so I am presenting to you someone who is loaded. I told you I'm the youngest of six kids. Most of the clothes that I wore when I was a young man was hand-me-downs from my brother. And my brother was a drug courier. So the clothes that I wore, wore all the time, I looked like I was in the drug culture. I'm just being honest with you. That's the way that I looked. Uh, I used to have hair and it used to be long, okay? And oh man, I had a flow. I had a flow that would come out of my baseball cap that would come down and all this kind of stuff. But when everything was said and done, when everything was said and done, I didn't think that God could use me. And when I graduated college, I started working construction to pay off my student loans and to pay off my stuff. And I heard one of the young ladies give a testimony earlier about, she, she said, I haven't had no traumatic change that's happened in my life. There's just been a steady change that God has made in my life. I feel like God sort of put his hand on my shoulder and just started to start talking to me and walking with me. And before I knew it, I was completely turned and I was Godward and headed the way that he was, He wanted me to go. I started preaching to some junior high group, just volunteering and doing various different things. Long story short, somebody asked me to teach in a Christian school and then I started teaching in a Christian school. And, and through the years... Through the years, I've had the adventure of being around young people, and God has just surrounded me with greatness. Okay? And I'm going to give you just a couple experiences, and you guys will just do with whatever you want to. I've had students sitting in my classes. I've got one NBA player, one NFL player. I have the very first group that I ever had at camp. The very first group that I ever had at camp. I can think of three pastors from that group that I had at camp. Not heads, middle schoolers, not heads. Those three guys alone probably spoke to between four and 5,000 people this morning. Okay? Is it anything that I've done? I'm going to say no. I just had God surround me with great people. And I've seen it all my life. And as he surrounded me with great people, I get the opportunity to maybe invest in him just a little bit. And then I come back and I see greatness.